Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of ENA We Got Time with a very, very special guest, Mr. Curtis Grant, NFL vet. Say what's up to the people, man. What's going on, people? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? All right, all right. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so let, let let's take it back to the beginning. When you first started playing football, you know, a lot of people play, you know, Pop Warner and such things. Did you always want to be a linebacker or, you know, is that something they transitioned you into or something you were just really good at? Go ahead and explain to the people how all that came about, if you don't mind. Uh, well, well, actually, I played O-line and D-line my whole life until I got to middle school. Um, it wasn't until, you know, my favorite player growing up when it first started off was Javon Curse. So, you know, I always wanted to play D-N and, and all of a sudden, one day, I got I was watching the Broncos game. And I forgot who was that linebacker. I was like, man, I'm going to try linebacker out. And all of a sudden, Ray Lewis became my favorite player, you know. And from there, from middle school, that's where I took off at, you know, just playing linebacker. And uh, every year, I just trained to become, you know, become better at the position. And then um, one thing led to another. And I ended up, ended up having a career at linebacker. Okay, okay. Let's take a couple steps further. Now, you were rated as the number one inside linebacker in the nation. So, of course, you had a bunch of schools that wanted you to go there. What made you go to Ohio State instead of other, you know, great Division One colleges? Well, um, well, I, if I was going to Ohio State, I was actually about to get um, about the, um I could commit to the University of Florida. And then Coach Meyer left there. Um, once he left there, that opened up, you know, opened up for more schools. And then I got a chance to meet Jim Trussell. And after I met Jim Trussell, it was over with. It was just like, oh, why, why not go play for a guy like Coach Trussell? You know, he's a great guy. He had a great spirit about him. And, you know, I wanted to be a part of his team. Okay, okay. So I'm assuming, you know, uh, the – the walkthrough or however you express it, you know, going on to the campus, he re- really made you feel at home and you just really like the program, correct? Yeah, I mean, when I when I got up there to go to Ohio State, man, it was, it was different. Kind of reminded me of, uh, kind of reminded me a little bit of being back home uh, of a bigger VCU um, because of the way the way the campus was set up. It wasn't a secluded campus like off in the country anywhere. It was, it was actually in the middle of, well, not in the middle of the city, but in the city. And um, and once I once I saw how that was, you know, uh, structured, I was like, man, this kind of reminds me of being back home. And um, after that, you know, I was sold. Uh, then once I once I went to practice, saw the practice facility and saw the fields and saw the shoe, I was sold. Uh, I I didn't want to go anywhere else but Ohio State. Got you, got you. Okay, so you touched base on it um, a little earlier. Um, who do you think you modeled your game after the most? Um, you, you said the guy from the Broncos. Is there anybody else that um, you, you really wanted, you know, you see playing in that thing? Like, you know what, I, I want to I be able to play like this. I want to, you know, do certain things like this person. Was there anybody else you really yeah. modeled your game after? Yeah, I was trying to model my game after Ray Lewis, man. That was – he had became my uh, favorite player at a young age after I stopped playing. Um, just as a line, it was something about Ray Lewis that I've always, you know, loved. I loved the way he played. I loved his passion. I loved his energy, man. And um, he, he, as I got older, you know, the more I watched him, the more I wanted to play like him, you know. And then, you know, then I had to realize we were, we were a little bit too we, – we, was, we were aggressive players but he was a little different than I was, you know? Yeah, he's a and, he's a special kind of person, I will say. Yeah. That. Yeah, definitely definitely a special kind of person. I, I definitely wanted to, you know, model my game after his and you know, then I started to become into my own man, you know, and started learning different techniques and figuring out what was best for me as a player, you know? Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So being the guy who's played in on several different teams and several different systems, who do you think showed you the most in the league as far as training, studying film, and just everything that goes with being a professional? 
Uh, I would definitely say Coach Joe B from the 49ers and okay. um, Antonio Pierce. Um, okay, former Giant, former Giant, I'm a Giant yeah, fan, so yeah. that, that sounds good. Oh, yeah. yeah, so AP, man, AP was my guy for Giants, man. He took the time to pretty much teach the rule and break it down and make it simple. And uh, he always had my back, man. And just having a veteran player like that boosted my confidence even more playing. You know, when I was in the Giants, I had to learn all three positions. And so, you know, he, he helped me out a lot. You know, that's just my guy. I actually need to call AP. I ain't talked to him in a while, see how he's doing. But, man, yeah, AP was my guy in the league, man. That, that's who helped me get through a lot. Nice, Thank nice. You know, my, my actual playing career, you know, instead of being on a lot of for Coach Joe B. And then, like I said, man, Antonio Pierce helped me elevate my game. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Um, next, next question. Uh, it's kind of a two-part question. Being as though, like you said, you played, you know, multiple positions and multiple schemes, would you rather – do you consider yourself a more of a run stopper or or a pass rusher or a cover linebacker? And um, if it's different, which one would be your favorite? Uh, I'm definitely a run stopper, man. Uh, my, my, my pass rushing probably was my weakest because I never really learned how to pass rush. Right. Because mm-hmm. um, it's, it's an art, man. It's an art to that pass rush. Like, everybody think you can just get off the ball and you have to yeah, get off, man. It's all about creating angles and setting up, you know, setting up different moves and being able to counter. It's not like you got you, and you got to learn how to, you know, be real slim when you pass rush. You know, take away space. And a linebacker, you know, for me, I guess it was more so being a run stopper, man. I love getting downhill and being physical to the ball. I love that. Um, but, you know, I, I didn't mind the man coverage. You know, I just didn't like having to sit there and wait on running backs. I could play, man, if I didn't have to sit there and wait, you know, and okay. let them give them the opportunity to run around. You know, somebody that's 5'8", that's 185 pounds, that run, you know, that's quick and shifty against a linebacker 245, 250. You know, that's a that's a mismatch all day, you know. so Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, you know. It wasn't too bad, man, but I was just but basically I was a better run stopper than I was, you know, pass coverage or pass rushing. But I could pass cover that. So gotcha. I needed to. Okay. Um favorite memory that you can think of. Oh what what's get give us a a a really good uh memory you have that's something you know you might never forget that you have. Uh, I would basically say my senior season at Ohio State, man, playing with all my brothers, uh, going through the adversity, playing, not playing, and ended up playing and winning the national championship. And, you know, just playing with my guys at Ohio State, man, that was probably the best, one of the best football moments I've had. Uh, besides going to state my senior year in high school, I would definitely say my senior year in college was a blast. Uh, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. Last, last question we got. Let me get yeah. one thing you'll take away from the game that you'll keep with you for the rest of your life. Uh, consistency. Uh, being consistent. And uh, always, just always being consistent, man. That's what, the, that's what the game has taught me, man. Be consistent and productive. The more you be consistent and productive, the more, you know, and the more you really will, you know, get to where you're trying to go, man, because you've got a plan because you're staying consistent. You know what I'm saying? And, and and doing what you need to do to become better each and every day. And when you when you take the right steps, because you're not going to always know the right answers, but if you take the right steps and, and go in the right direction and you're consistent, and you continue and, and you continue to work hard, man, um, it's kind of hard to stop their train from moving, you know? That you are right about that. You definitely right about that. Um, once again, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Really appreciate you for taking the time out today and hopping on the channel, man. Um, is there any last words you got for the people that's going to be watching this interview? Hey, uh, sure. You watch this interview during listening to this interview during this pandemic situation. Uh, stay focused. 
Work on yourself. Work on your mental. Believe in yourself. And always love self. And keep striving for the best. Great words. Words of wisdom, man. Mr. Grant, I really appreciate you for your time. Once again, I want to thank you. And this is ENA. We got time. And we are. Thanks again, man. All right. No problem, brother. I appreciate you having me. All right.